Do you want to be your client's trusted financial consultant? If you want, in this episode, I'm going to share with you four guiding principles when helping your clients to choose their executor. Now in every will, whether it's a simple or complicated one, there is a requirement to choose an executor. Even if you are not the one who sets up the will, you may have referred your client to a law firm or even to an estate planner, but you as the trusted financial consultant should evaluate your client and walk them through this process. So how exactly do you advise your clients in this area? You may say, usually I'm not trained in estate planning, I'm not a lawyer, I do not know how, but this is what you need to do. Usually, clients like to choose their next of kin, whether it's their brother, their sister, their spouse, to be their executor. Though that may be a great choice, however, there are four guiding principles when you help them to arrive at a final choice. So, guiding principle number one, make sure that this chosen executor is close to you. All right. So it may be someone that is your spouse, somebody who is close enough to know what you are thinking, that your values are aligned. And usually, this is someone who is close to the family, perhaps a family friend, the spouse, um, a relative. Yeah. But the second guiding principle, which is very important, is to make sure that this chosen executor has the similar financial intellect. So what do I mean? So if your client has assets, for example, in real estate, in bonds, in private equity, in overseas assets, in bitcoins, in crypto. Now, this executor who is taking over the role needs to understand how to deal with all these assets. Let me call you an example. Who do you think is the best choice to be the executor for people like Warren Buffett? Probably Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos. Now, why? Because they have the same similar financial intellect with regard to assets of what they have. So today, what assets do your client have? Just imagine without the similar financial intellect, how is this chosen executor, even though he or she is close to your client, going to administer the different kind of assets, especially when the assets are worldwide. And the third guiding principle is this, why this person? Why this chosen executor? So there was once where a client, he had three grown up children, and I noticed that he only selected the elder son to be the chosen executor. So I asked him the reason for only choosing the elder son. Um, and his reply is that he, he wouldn't want to trust the second and the third children, uh, mainly because they were not so good in, in finance and uh, he had more trust with the first son. So I asked him if this is how he would wish to explain to the other two daughters in time to come because you know in such things it's very sensitive when they're only the first child is being selected as an executor um, how would the other two children feel and it's something that I always explain to the client to indicate the reason why uh, only one out of the three children were chosen so for example you can say that well maybe only the elder son um, it is free because he has no children yet. Or maybe he can say that the elder son is in Singapore, um, he didn't want to trouble the second or the third child. So it's important to ask the client the reason for the choice of the executor, especially when only one out of that two or three children are being elected. Now, what's the fourth guiding principle? What if the executor outlive the beneficiaries? Now, this is one of the very important points to ask your client. So, for example, if there are young kids as the beneficiaries and the estate will need to wait till the kids grow to a legal age of 21, can the chosen executor outlive the beneficiaries? If that's the case, it is important to guide your client to add on a substitute executor. Though this is not compulsory, but it is highly recommended because your chosen executor may not be available, he may predecease, or for some other reasons, he or she may not be willing to act at that given point in time. Of course, there is also a possibility of appointing a corporate executor for a fee, but I'll leave it that for another video. Now, with the above four guiding principles in helping your clients choose their executor, you will elevate your overall value proposition 
and be your client's trusted financial consultant. That's all. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you have benefited from this video, share it, leave me a comment below. I'll see you in the next episode.